Greetings, I'm Tamanna Namdar. Religion is a deeply emotive subject, especially in India. And the debate and news coverage around the incidents at the Gyan Vapi Mosque in Varanasi are often seen in this prism. But we are also a rules-based society that holds the law supreme. It is in this context that we are addressing an important news headline today on the show. It is a story that when communicated to people is sometimes reduced to a post or a meme or a WhatsApp forward. But there's much more to it. So let's try and break down and understand what the issue is so that the facts are clear. Let's start with what happened today. The Supreme Court today directed the Varanasi administration to protect and seal the area where reportedly a shivling was found within the mosque complex at Gyan Vapi Mosque in Varanasi. The top court, however, also directed that Muslims will not be stopped from entering the mosque to offer prayers. It further clarified that there will not be any restriction on the number of people who enter to offer prayer. The Supreme Court stepped in after the committee that manages the Gyan Vapi Mosque moved it against a trial court which was passed earlier. The trial court, among other things, restricted the number of Muslims who could offer prayer in the complex to 20. The hearing will continue in the Supreme Court on 19th May. Now let's come to the trial court. The trial court on Monday ordered the sealing of a part of the complex after petitioners claimed that a shivling was found during a court-mandated video survey. The committee who manages the mosque has disputed this, saying the object is part of a water fountain at a spot in the complex where rituals are performed by Muslims before prayer. Let's rewind a bit on what this particular case is about uh, before the Varanasi trial court. So five women, a deity resides. Hindu prayers at the spot have been going on intermittently, but the plea here is to allow regular prayer. It is in this context that the trial court had ordered a video survey of the site. An advocate commissioner was appointed for this purpose and it is after the survey that the petitioners claim the presence of a shivling. By the way, this advocate commissioner was removed by the trial court today after allegations that he was leaking information about the survey before it was filed in court. Now, the larger context. The legal battle over Gyan Vapi goes back to 1991 and is based on the argument that the mosque was built after demolishing a Hindu temple. There are several claims and counterclaims by historians on whether this was truly the case. But to be clear, that is not what the court is looking at right now. Right now, the court is simply looking at the plea of five women to pray within the mosque complex. There are several other cases that also demand that the entire complex be handed over entirely to the Hindu community. And their claim is that the premises used to be a temple. Now, here's where the law comes in. In 1991, the Indian Parliament passed the Places of Worship Act, which essentially says that the status quo of places of worship will be maintained as of 15th of August 1947. The only exception was the Ayodhya dispute. Importantly, the Places of Worship Act 1991 has also been challenged in the Supreme Court. Uh, so today, what we want to figure out is where this case goes on from here.